Hello, friends and folks. Welcome to the Creative Middle Lesson. As promised, today we will learn about making buttonholes like this. Okay. I will show you two ways of doing them. And as a bonus, I will show you how to put in your buttons too. Is that okay? Now click that like button below and we can start. If you're new here, click that subscribe bell at the bottom as well. And you can watch our sewing playlist for free. Okay, let's start. First, choose your button. Then, know where you want to put it. Then mark it with your tailor's pen. Check and recheck your button's width. Measure all sides so that your button's placement will be equal. Then make the necessary marks. Now that you've marked it, mark as well where you would place the button. Then cut the hole where you marked it. Next, try your button on and make the necessary adjustments. Now prepare your needle with your thread. Before where the cut or the hole starts, put your needle under and out for about half a centimeter and pull it, leaving a small tail of the cotton or the thread at the end. Then do it again, but this time once your needle is out the other end, which created a circle of thread, you put the needle inside the circle and pull it firm to lock it. Do this three to four times. Now you can start hand stitching on one side of the opening or the hole, making sure that the stitches are close to each other. When you get to the end, do another 3-4 to four locking stitch before you finish the other side of the hole or the tear. Now here's the bonus. Let's show you how to put your buttons in. Do this three times, three or four, and then lock it at the back. Do the same for the other side, and when you're done, check or try your buttons to see if, can, if it can get in and out of the hole. For buttonholes made by sewing machines, we will only use a basic sewing machine. Just for the purpose of showing you how it's done, I will just use 
a scrap of fabric to do it okay the same way as we did before you have to mark how big is your hole or how big the tear would be and of course here comes Edmund to help me you need to consider the width of the button as well Now, set your needle before where the cut or the hole starts. After a few stitches, change your program to one side. Once you reach the end, switch it back to the first program or the middle program. And then after a few stitches again, go to the other side or I mean the other side of the hole. The sewing machine will then stitch backward to finish the other side of the opening and it ends to where it started. So this is now the result. Now put a pin at one end of your buttonhole. I know it's not a hole yet, and this pin will serve as your stopper. Then use your ripper to make a hole in the middle. So here's your buttonhole made by your simple sewing machine. Just trim the unnecessary cottons. So, did you learn something from this vlog? As we say, keep learning, keep living, right? Thank you for watching friends and folks. Come back next week as I will be showing you another comfort food to make for our cooking playlist. Okay? Bye for now.